This is going to be the ultimate when you use the turbo guide, basically. I don't know, that's what I'm calling it. But I'm just going to go over everything you need, kind of, because there's a lot of things where you can choose, a lot of different options. So I'm going to go over mostly my setup, and then I'll tell you where things can change and differ. So yeah, we're going to start from the motor, work our way to the turbo, and then back to the motor, go in that order. And I'll give you guys pricing so I can tell you the total price that it costs me to do this. Um, I would not, pricing is going to change because I got a lot of this stuff used. But if you don't have a welder and know how to fab at least a decent amount, then you're going to be spending a lot more money than what it, than it, what it cost me. That's just the way it is. So you need to know how to do at least a little bit of fab work. You need a grinder at least. I mean, it's simple stuff. So know how to weld, know how to use a grinder, and you can probably do it. Um, so yeah, so let's start with... So, uh, the headers, they were $100 for those pair of eBay headers that are stainless. Um, those are the ones that go here and this side, and then they're flipped, and then I modify them. You can watch how I modify them in my series. I think it's part one, maybe it even goes into part two. Those were $100. Then after those, we're going to a 2.5 inch because that's the same size that was here. So I matched it there um, and I bought a little kit. I have so much extra tubing. So the hardest part with this was like, I didn't need a ton of tubing, but it was just worth it for me to buy it and then have the extra. So on um, the one point or the 2.25 inch tubing was $120 for a whole kit on Amazon. Everything is going to be linked below where I got it, mostly Amazon, eBay, and then I even put stuff in there that I got used, but this is a link to what it is exactly. So that was $120, but I have tons of tube left over. So after we do that, we come up to the T4 flange. Um, T4 flange was $16 on Amazon, plus your gasket, you're looking at about 20 bucks for your T4 flange because this is a T4 turbo. Um, now we're gonna be going to the turbo. This is where, let me backtrack. So you can change how you ran your piping. It's gonna be similar on how you do it, but the turbo is what is gonna vary your setup. If you go from a T3, T4 is pretty popular, but what turbo exactly you go with is up to you. Just make sure you're looking at these compressor maps and making sure it'll work for your power levels and all like that before you go and buy one. So I'm there right here, I have, um, it's a Borg Warner S300. I think it's a 6673. Um, I have a link to the exact one below. That was $340 used. Um, so, yeah, do take that with a grain of salt for whatever that's worth. But after that, we're going to be going to downpipe. So, um, I ran a three inch downpipe and then a three inch exhaust. Um, and then it split into a dual 2.5. I know most of you guys are probably going to go single 3 inch all the way, so that's whatever. But I got a whole kit of 3 inch tubing, which is $124. Um, I also have a ton of 3 inch tubing left over, so for me it's worth it because I got a lot of extra tube. So I got that whole kit. Um, and then you're going to need waste gates. So the S300 Turbo, the Borg Warner S300, is a twin scroll turbo. So I ran it off this bank and this bank, meaning I have to run uh, two wastegates um, for each bank because it's a twin scroll and they're completely separate, the exhaust flow, until it goes after the turbo into the downpipe. So I'm running two um, tile wastegates. They're gonna be linked below. They're the 40 millimeter Gen 5 comp wastegates. I'm running two of them, they're, they're pricey. They're 300 bucks each. That's 600 bucks right there in waste case. I got mine used, so I didn't spend that much, but take with that with the greatest salt as well. You can run, you don't need to run it uh, twin scroll exactly. You can run it single scroll. You might have a little bit more lag. You can, if you're running a different turbo that's a single scroll, then you don't even need two waste gates. If you can run cheaper waste gates, you can run different waste gates, you can run smaller waste gates, you can run a bigger waste gate. That's all kind of up to you. I ran this because I wanted twin scroll. Um, tile wastegates are known to be proven that they are really good wastegates. So I'm not, I, all this stuff I had tried not to cheap out on, right? 
So, twin tile, 44 millimeter wastegates. So now we have our whole hot side done. So for our cold side, um, I ran cheap 2.75 inch aluminum intercooler piping from Amazon. And that was $100 for their kit, including the ugly blue couplers. You can spend a little more and get the black ones, but I don't really give a crap because I like performance over looks. I mean, I like looks, but performance is a better. Anyway, so that comes around. You can watch how I routed it all into my series. Now your intercooler piping is gonna come up into your intercooler, which is right there. My intercooler is a cheap cooler and it is $100 as well off Amazon. You can get a better cooler, you can get a different cooler, you can get a smaller one. Um, it has, I think, three inch inlets. I can't remember exactly. No, I don't know. You can check it out in the link to the exact one that I bought. So I bought that one. I got that one mounted up. So now we follow the intercooler piping up. We have blow off valve. This is a Blitz blow off valve that I bought used for, I think it was $90. And then I built my own flange um, here. I just drilled the holes, bolt, found a tube that was the same size, welded that on. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. You're gonna have some miscellaneous stuff. Like if you wanna run a turbo blanket, you can run a turbo blanket. If you wanna run exhaust wrap, you can run exhaust wrap. You're gonna need no two sensor bung, but I had one laying around. You're gonna need a fitting here, which is also gonna be linked. It's like nine bucks for this fitting to go to just also a cheap oil feed. And then that comes with a kit um, with the fittings you're gonna need. And then you're gonna need an oil drain. What I recommend watching that through the series, how I did the oil drain which goes into the factory oil level sensor, which I'm no longer running. So, and that was basically free. I think I had to buy some small fittings and I welded them on. So keep in mind again, you have to have at least some sort of, a little bit of fabricating skills, mostly a welder that can do DC and AC, so it can do aluminum and steel, stainless, unless you want to run, unless you want to have someone else do it, it's just going to cost more money. So, yeah, that's everything I had to buy, but I was already standalone, bigger injectors, bigger fuel pump, and all that jazz. So, I can do a quick rundown of everything else, which is I have a bigger fuel pump, a Walbro. I can't remember to be honest, to be honest. A bigger, bigger fuel pump, you're gonna need that. Um, I'm on a standalone ECU, so I can run whatever injectors I want. I'm running Subaru 565cc, Injectors, they are drop in. You have to shorten the fuel rail um, spacers by like half, maybe a little more than half. And then they just plop in, same connector. But if you're standalone, you already have a different wiring harness. So you can run whatever injectors you want. Um, I'm coil on plug. You can, if you're on stock ECU, you're not gonna be coil on plug. Um, I had to change how this coolant hose is set up and then the same with the lower one. I had to pull the AC lines over to the side. I don't have power steering anymore. I'm now electric power steering. You can watch that series. It's in my um, playlist of, one, of SC400 Turbo. Relocating the alternator, that was free because they don't make a kit for that. So I had to um, relocate that. That's in my series as well. So check that out. Um, I wish, actually, I'm gonna try to link below what belt I ran. It's gonna vary depending on how your setup is, but I can, I'm can. i gonna try to find the part number of the belt I used for that. Um, your intake, this isn't my permanent situation. I'm gonna be going down to there, so it's a real cold air intake. Um, you're gonna need this cup holder, which is probably another 20 bucks. This is from my supercharger setup, and that also is from my supercharger setup. So, stock intake manifold, oh. I'm on an e-throttle body because I'm on a standalone and I want an electronic throttle body because that's how it was set up before and I already have the pedal. So that is also in my series and it is a Dodge Caravan throttle body with an adapter that I made to go to the stock intake. And then the rest of it is just kind of up to you on how you want to run your wiring harness, what ECU you want to run. And then, yeah, if you're manual, if you're not, it doesn't really make a difference. but. This is how everything you need to do, at least the turbo. You can do this on the stock ECU. 
I wouldn't recommend it. You can do it, but yeah. Okay, so everything is gonna be linked below on that I bought. But remember, I did stuff, I bought stuff used. So I think I'm, I wanna say like, I think I'm about $1,600. So $1,600 for everything that I bought. Actually, yeah, probably about $1,600. Uh, maybe even $1,700 because of all the V-bands I bought for my exhaust system. And then you're always gonna have those small miscellaneous things that I probably forgot that you are gonna have to include into the budget because there's always things that come up. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, watch the whole playlist on how the turbo setup was done. And that'll give you a rundown on how I ran everything. Um, so yeah, goodbye.